Oh shoot. A little one true pairing in there. I'm blanking, I'm blanking. I'm blanking. <laughs> everybody, Sierra Media Gal here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a June favorites video for you. Oh my gosh, I'm actually getting it done on time. Let's not waste any time, let's get right into what I have been enjoying for the month of June. Let's start with shower and bath products. So for the past month, I have really been enjoying YouTuber Zoella's Le Fizz Fragranced Bath Fizzer. For those of you who don't know who Zoella is on YouTube. Where have you been? Have you been living under a rock? She's probably one of the most successful YouTubers ever. I bought mine off of Torrid.com, but you can now find a lot of her products in your local Ulta Beauty. And we just had one that opened recently where I live, so I'm excited to try out more of her stuff. So you take about four chunks of this off and just put it in your bath. Yeah, it's really, relaxing it smells wonderful oh yeah this is great i have been coloring my hair for a little over eight months now something i've always wanted to do and i'm really kind of embarrassed that it took me so so long to do what makes me happy but i started out coloring my hair pink and i've since moved on to like turquoise and blues and other colors shower product i have really really been enjoying is the overtone conditioners mine's looking a little beat up this is the vibrant teal Especially when I went from pink to basically blue hair, I was using this quite a bit. It's a daily conditioner. You can use it as often or as little as you wash your hair. After you put in your shampoo and just leave it on for a couple minutes. You can put it on dry too, I think, if you want to like make it even more vibrant. I tend to put my shampoo on, then I put this on for a good like five minutes and then wash it out. It deposits a little bit of color in your hair, so it helps to keep the color longer. These daily conditioners usually run about $17.99 to $18.99. You can also purchase the once a week deep conditioners. I've never tried those, but I've heard great things about them. If you color your hair fiber colors like I do, I definitely recommend getting Overtone. They have so many different ranges of colors too. Moving on to home decor, I am still working on revamping my bedroom. I've been working on this actually for over a year. I mean, it's just taken me a long time to get together the funds to do this. So little by little, I've been picking up things as I go. And there is a corner behind me, if you can see that, of my bedroom that has been really just vacant for a while and it's been driving me nuts. And I've really wanted like some fake flowers or some fake plants in that area, but I couldn't find anything big enough that wasn't extravagantly expensive. I was at Home Goods and I saw this potted fake plant because your girl only buys fake because I'm no gardener. I do not have a green thumb and I tend to kill pretty things. So hopefully you can see this. This really pretty, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Comment down below if you know. I loved this really pretty uh, blush color that goes perfect with my bedroom decor. So now finally, this corner back here is not gonna look so sad anymore. Oh, and the plant I bought for $24.99. It was a bit steep, but at the same time, I was sick of looking around, sick of waiting, so it was worth it to me. Then I also picked up this bulletin board that you can see behind me. I've been collecting so many pictures and running out of space for frames, and so I finally decided I wanted to get a bulletin board to do a collage. So I found this at Home Goods as well when I picked up that plant. This was, I believe, $39.99, which I thought was a great steal considering how big it is and how much space it actually takes up. Lastly, moving into the fandom part of this video, I did feature this in my recent Harry Potter haul for June. So if you haven't watched that, I will link that down below for you to go check out this beautiful um, Amortentia Love Potion Harry Potter Cauldron Mug, which I absolutely love. It has this rose gold design on the front and then HP with the snitch on the back. It's just so cute. I have so many more cauldron mugs that I intend to buy. I have a bit of a cauldron slash potions obsession. Reminds me of Snape, so I had to pick this up and had to feature it 
in this video as one of my favorites. I usually just keep it up on this shelf right here with my Harry Potter books and my NECA Snape figure there. This will either be featuring in an upcoming video or it may be featuring in my July Harry Potter haul that is already up. We'll see whichever one comes first. I had been eyeing getting more into collecting old vintage Harry Potter merchandise. One of the items that I've been wanting to buy for a while, and I actually bought it for a friend a couple Christmases ago, and I just kind of made a mental note like, I want to get on eBay again and buy that. I purchased two of the Harry Potter and Avesco decorations, and I believe these are from like 2001, 2002, so very early, either predate the movies or came out right around the time of the movies. What I love about them is they don't look like the actual actors from the movies, so they look very much like the book characters. And one of those, of course, is Severus Snape. It's a Severus Snape decoration from Anna Vesco. I absolutely love him. And he ranges on eBay. You can find him fairly cheap. I got mine for about $10 which was a pretty good bargain because I've seen him going for upwards of $30. So you just have to kind of like be patient and wait and bid when the time is right. And then I had to also buy Hermione. So this is Hermione. She's so cute. She's holding some books and her wand. I had to get both of these. They are so cute. The little one true pairing going on right there. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is my short little June favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to click the subscribe button down below so that you get future notifications of videos like this from me. I would also love it if you could give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps support my channel. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.